Right now, five prosecutors say they may be able to argue that Stephen Williams, the man who pleaded guilty to killing his ex-wife, Trisha Todd, did not keep his end of the plea bargain. Stevens had made a deal with Martin County investigators, 35 years in prison in exchange for pleading guilty and leading investigators to her remains. He was set to be sentenced next week. News Channel 5's Jacqueline Powell explains today a judge gave prosecutors more time. In court, Stephen Williams stood before the judge, and that judge later agreed to a delay in Williams' sentencing. State Attorney Tom Bacadal says though Williams agreed to lead investigators to Trisha Todd's body, he may only have led them to some of the victim's remains. We just want to know, did he take us to all of Trisha's remains as was bargained for? He says if not, the prosecution may be able to prove Williams violated his plea deal. Investigators say when Williams told them where to search at Hungry Land Preserve, he didn't tell them the whole story. From the very beginning when we were there and we, and we disinterred her remains, there was a real question as to whether or not we had her body or did we just have a portion of her body. Now the state attorney's office says a forensic anthropologist from Florida Gulf Coast University will work with the county's medical examiner and the military to determine whether all of the remains were in the tub of acid they found or if there may be other still undiscovered remains elsewhere. Martin County Sheriff William Snyder says investigators won't rest until they know they've recovered everything they can in this case. It gives the family comfort to know that they have their remains. There's a place you can go and visit. Uh, at, at a cemetery and, and to only have partial remains is to only have partial closure. Williams public defender argued the language of the plea deal only said Williams had to lead investigators to Todd's remains, not that he had to lead them to all of her remains. He says his client kept his end of the deal. Williams scheduled to be in court again September 30th.